As part of the continuous initiatives organized by the Palestinian Center for Cultural Heritage Preservation, a new project is being implemented in the city of Bethlehem, the rehabilitation of Darmur Kaznassar. This is an old traditional Palestinian palace located in the center of Bethlehem, and it was in danger of collapsing. Since 2001, the Center for Cultural Heritage Preservation has been able to restore more than 40 historic buildings in projects that aim at preserving the cultural heritage in the Bethlehem Governorate in particular and Palestine in general. The center has been able to restore more than 40 house historic buildings since year 2001. And uh, most of these buildings were granted to NGOs or CBOs who are working to uh, protect and uh, provide the services for the local community. Uh, this project is being remarkable due to the partnership established between Center for Culture Preservation and REWAC, which is also a pioneer and leading uh, organization in the work of cultural heritage preservation that work in Palestine. The two organizations also have cooperated with uh, Wallonie uh, Center for Preservation from Belgica to implement this project. The Center for Cultural Heritage Preservation, in its attempts to engage the local community in their projects, organized this Friday a voluntary work activity in the Darmurkus Nassar. During the day, groups of children from the Delisa Scouts and members of the Youth Council in the city of Bethlehem took part in the activity. We are gathering today to implement a voluntary work activity at uh, the historic center of Bethlehem. Uh, we as a center uh, interest uh, a lot in uh, involving the local community in our uh, activities. Uh, in uh, rehabilitating and preserving our cultural heritage. Uh, this day is considered as a part of the public awareness activities for the community, and uh, which is a complement to, uh, to our initiatives in uh, rehabilitating the old, uh, old and traditional buildings in Bethlehem. The volunteering event, which was organized on the occasion of Land Day, included planting trees, and painting the walls of Darmur Nassar. The center is working in the rehabilitation of this building to be used later on by the Ma'an for Life organization that serves people with special needs and helps them integrate into society. We do hope that this will be another story of success where historic buildings that is in danger of being collapsed will be turned into a living space that's being uh, used for providing service for the local community. Especially in this case, we are talking about people with special needs who are in need of for such services. The architects working on the restoration of the palace talked about the project and their work. Uh, the second phase includes uh, elevator works uh, to enable the people with disabilities to make movement easier uh, from one uh, floor to another floor. The, the main aim of this project is uh, uh, is to uh, is, is to make uh, like uh, is to make workshops on the uh, traditional crafts uh, craftsmen that uh, were exist in the in the past. Like as we see the old uh, paintings on the wall and the technique of the restoration of uh, the old paintings, uh, and this uh, workshop that we are uh, doing it now uh, la uh, lasts for two weeks, and now we are in the last uh, stage of uh, of this uh, of this workshop. I'm here to renew the paintings on the wall, and we come here to teach to the Palestinian people how to restore their heritage. So here we have two kinds of paintings. We have lime paintings and also oil painting on the wall, a kind of oil. And uh, we had to, uh, first we had to fix the painting on the wall because everything was uh, 
was uh, going back. Uh, they, it was uh, not stick anymore on the wall. And uh, here, actually, now we are painting with acryls, aquarelle, and also with uh, color pencil. The De La Salle Scouts and members of the Youth Council who participated in the voluntary activity at the Armorcas Nassar also expressed their willingness and happiness to help in this project. We are from De La Salle Scout. We came here today to help our people in Palestine and our scout says to us that to help our community and to save our uh, heritage in Palestine. We came here to, uh, to help uh, make this place better and by planting things and uh, painting the walls and I uh, I'm proud of this thing because we are serving our society and uh, especially this um, old place to keep it better and better. Several Palestinian youth spend their day in one of the most historical buildings in Bethlehem, a building that had been deserted for a long time and was turned into a place that is full of life.